Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Zune HD. Is the Zune HD dead? Is it not dead? Oh, there are a lot of people out there have been talking about, you know, the Zune HD is dead. You know, Apple has killed it and so on and so forth. Um, I've been very curious about the Zune HD for some time. And um, it hasn't been available in Canada until the last few months or so. Tiger Direct brought it in. And uh, there is limited access to the marketplace. I'll get to more of that when I, you know, discuss the marketplace. But I figured I'd pick one up. And I'll check it out. I've been curious about it for a while. And I picked this one up on eBay for the bargain basement price of 100 bucks, plus shipping and so on and so forth. I think it cost me $130 shipped. So pretty awesome deal. And this is all I got. I didn't get the official retail packaging or anything. This is all I got with it. So what you're going to get is you're going to get a dock, or not a dock, I'm sorry, a sync cable with a USB to a proprietary connector. It looks very similar to the Apple 30-pin connector, but it is smaller. Um, you're also going to get a pair of Zune branded headphones and these may actually be worse than the Apple headphones that come with all of your eye devices. These are complete garbage, let's be honest. And then you're going to get the Zune itself, which is pretty awesome. Um, we're going to start with the hardware and then I'll move on to the software and features and then I'll discuss the Zune marketplace or lack thereof if you're in anywhere other than the US. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. That's, I figured that's the, probably the best way for me to go about this. So first up, hardware. Cool beans guys, here we are taking a look at the hardware. Um, this is of course the 16 gigabyte Zune HD. Um, the hardware itself is really nice. Um, it is a very solid feeling device. It's fairly lightweight. I believe it's about 80 grams. Um, it features a 3.3 inch Super AMOLED display, which when this was released about 18 or 19 months ago, was actually higher resolution than the iPod Touch that it was competing against. This actually had a higher resolution display. Um, it does have a Tigra processor from NVIDIA in it, so it is super fast. Um, there is no lag between switching screens or anything like that or scrolling through menus or anything like that at all. It is super fast and super zippy. So from a hardware standpoint, it's certainly equal to the new iPod fourth generation for that manner, let alone the iPod third generation that it was competing against. I'd say better than the iPod third generation and at least as good as the iPod fourth generation. The screen is 3.3 inches compared to, you know, the iPhone or iPod fours. 3.5 inches, but it's not a big difference. Let's be honest. There's not a huge difference in screen size when it comes to that. So that's not really a big deal as far as screen size goes. So hardware, pretty much a tie between the iPod Touch fourth generation and the Zune HD. They're both very, very solid devices. Uh, the Zune HD does feel a little bit it's a little bit more solid, a little bit better built with the screws on the back and everything. It, just, it seems like it might be better built. Moving on to software and features. Taking a look at the software, we'll go back here to the home screen. And taking a look at the home screen, you're featured. Uh, you're going to notice that this does bear a strong resemblance to Windows Phone 7. And there's a reason for that. Windows Phone 7 kind of evolved from the Zune UI. So the interface is going to look very similar to Windows Phone 7. And here on the main screen you have music, videos, pictures, radio, and this does have an HD radio in it as well. There are no HD radio stations in Canada, so I wasn't able to test that. There are in the United States, but not here in Canada. And then you have a social interface, an internet browser, and, which I didn't mean to open, and then your settings menu. So, there you go. Um, as you're going to notice, there is no marketplace here on the main screen, and there's a reason for that. I'll get into that when I start talking about the marketplace. Um, as far as the, uh, you know, software uh, and the features go, um, there aren't a whole lot of features. I'll get into more of the features in the Zune marketplace because I have a little bit I want to say about that. But the software itself is very Zune, is very Windows Phone 7-ish, as I said. And uh, going into the music, you know, folder here you can see you can sort by playlists songs 
genres, albums, or artists. Um, fairly basic, so on and so forth. But I will say that the audio out is significantly better on this than it is on the iPhone 4 or the iPod Touch or the iPod Nano. Um, they all pale in comparison to the audio output of this. I think uh, the Zune HD probably has the best audio output of any portable device I've tested without an amplifier. Um, if you hook up a headphone amp to an iPod or an iPhone, the audio out might be better than this. But without a headphone amp, I would say this has the best audio output of any portable music player that I have tried. It does also play videos and you can put your pictures on here and do slideshows and all that sort of stuff and sort them by albums and uh, so on and so forth. And then you have your social hub with all your friends and stuff. I have no friends because nobody loves me. And then you have your internet uh, browser, which is meh. Yeah, I mean, it's an okay browser. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing to write home about. Mobile Safari is infinitely better. And then you have your settings menu, which is very simple. You can set your, you know, wireless, your display, your music, your sound, your clock, and all that sort of stuff. So pretty basic as far as the UI goes. But as you can see, it is very zippy. When I click on something, it's simply zoop, and it opens up immediately. Um, so very zippy, very snappy. Let's move on to the Zune Marketplace. Moving on to the Zune Marketplace. Um, this is where it gets interesting. Um, if you're looking for a device that has a bunch of apps and a bunch of games and, uh, you know, something iOS-like with lots of apps, lots of games, lots of cool stuff you can do with it, then you're going to be sorely disappointed by the Zune HD, uh, particularly if you live in any country other than the United States because the apps market for the Zune HD is only supported in the United States. Um, there has been an email up application update for the Zune HD, but I can't even access that when you're outside of the United States. I can't even get that in Canada. There's an email app, but I can't download it and install it because it won't let me being outside of Canada, there, or outside of the United States, I'm sorry. There used to be a workaround wherein you go, by going into your control panel on your computer and changing your region settings, you would be able to um, access the marketplace using a US Windows Live account. So you would have to go to Windows Live and sign up for a US Windows Live account. And then you would be able to access the marketplace that way. Microsoft has since put the kibosh on that one. And uh, they now do an IP check on any firmware above 4.1, I believe. And this is running 4.5, the most current version. So unfortunately, there's no way to downgrade it really. And uh, I wasn't able to access the marketplace. So I do know they have a Facebook app as well as the new email update where they added the, an email feature to it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to test any of those because I wasn't able to gain access to the marketplace. So my Apple handily beats Microsoft as far as a marketplace goes, simply because of availability. The part of the reason why the Zune HD may have failed may have been the fact that Microsoft only made it available in its full functionality in the United States. Final thoughts on the Zune HD. Is it dead? Does it have a chance? I'm going to have to go with no. Uh, there are going to be the hardcore enthusiasts out there who love it simply because of its audio output. Well, as I said earlier, the audio output on this thing is fantastic. Uh, plug a decent pair of headphones into this thing and it's going to sound better than anything else you've ever plugged those headphones into using the same music files. Um, I use the same files from my iTunes library on my computer on here and can't argue with the fact that it sounds better. So there you go. However, if you're looking for apps and functionality and uh, games and, and stuff like that, that's where Microsoft has dropped the ball. Unfortunately, Unless you're in the United States, you're not going to have access to any of it. So basically what you're going to be buying is a very fancy, cool looking MP3 player, because that's really all this has come down to. Um, am I going to keep this? I don't know. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to keep it yet. Um, do I like it? Sure. It's cool. But all I can use it for is music and uh, videos. I'd, I'd rather put the videos on my iPhone 4. To be perfectly honest with you, if that's what I was going to do. So essentially, this has become a music player and nothing more. Um, it's a very good music player, but 
there are music, other music players out there that are almost as good or just as good as the Zune HD for either less money or they include more features. So unfortunately, it looks like the critics may be right, guys. The Zune HD may in fact be dead. Um, which is too bad because, um, you know, this had the potential to be pretty darn great if Microsoft had just supported it and built upon the foundation that they have here. They have a great foundation here and there's tons of potential here, but unfortunately Microsoft just dropped the ball on it and chose not to support it. They went with Windows Phone 7 instead. So I guess um, if you're looking for a, a Zune device, guys, my advice would be to go Windows Phone 7. Don't bother with the Zune HD. So there you go, guys. I've been rambling on for 11 minutes, and uh, I think I've said my piece on the Zune HD. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Rock on.